we also have diffraction. Now, this is similar to ref refraction because it's something that happens to the wave as it passes through something, but this is when the wave bends as it passes an edge or an opening. So this is like when you see the light coming underneath the door from a different room. So diffraction is the bending of the waves as it passes an edge or an opening. Um, one of the most famous experiments to go with this was the slit experiment. Quantum theory works, even though it shouldn't. And perhaps the ultimate proof of just how unsettling quantum mechanics can be is something called the double slit experiment. It will make you question whether reality exists at all. This simple configuration shoots particles of light called photons one at a time through two tiny slits in a screen. We have a laser which produces light. This light is attenuated such that only one photon at a time emerges. This photon passes through a two-slit assembly and then we have a camera which registers the pattern behind the two-slit assembly. So what we see is that the photons arrive one by one on the screen, some here, some there, and it looks pretty random. Since the photons travel one by one, some through this slit, some through that slit, you would expect them to leave a pattern of two stripes on the wall. And you would be wrong. They mysteriously create a band of stripes. This is what you would expect to see if a constant beam of light shined through the two slits. It would spread across the wall like a wave. So how can single bullet-like particles of light create a wave pattern? This could only happen if the particles go through both slits at the same time. In other words, the particle is in two places at once. But strangest of all is what happens when you put detectors next to the slits. When the photons are being watched, the wave pattern disappears. Take away the detectors and the wave pattern comes back. This suggests that we can change the way reality behaves just by looking at it. Does this mean that reality itself is not real? The modern answer is that the path taken by the photon is not an element of reality. We are not allowed to talk about the photon passing through this or this slit. Neither are we allowed to say that the photons pass through both slits. All this kind of language is not applicable.
Now to put all these three things together, here is a, like a summary for you. So you have reflection over here. Now remember, reflection is when it comes in and then it bounces off. Refraction is when the wave speed changes. So it's going at a different speed through here than it is anywhere else. So it looks like it moves. And then diffraction is when it passes through a slit or an opening, an edge. And so then it ends up like diffracting all the particles so it looks different right in here.